Hey and welcome back to this new Pizza Ray tutorial. Today we want to start to create the Blade Runner scene. We will create the buildings with geometry nodes and we will create some ground assets with displacement. And in the next tutorial we will put all this stuff together. Let's jump right in. Okay, here we are in a fresh blender scene and today we want to use our cube for our first building. So let's start right with this one. So first let's press N. And now we want to change the X and Y to 10 by 10. Let's go into the edit mode by pressing tab. And we want to select the upper points here. So let's select these four and want to bring the Z value now to 20. That is the basic shape of our first building. Let's rename this to building A. <laughs> and let's duplicate this by pressing shift and D. And this is now building B. And we want to go back into the edit mode by pressing tab. Select the left points here now. And now we want to bring this here, uh, the Y value to minus two. And let's select the right side here now and bring this to two. Now we can go into the face mode by pressing this button here or pressing three. Now we want to select here, um, this face here and press now I on the keyboard or you can go here to this one and select insert faces and drag and drop this circle here or let's go into the settings now let's do this to something like yeah, 0.7 is okay and now we can go ahead and press extrude region and go to the X here and extrude this a little bit. And now we can bring this here again a little bit up. So let's press G and Z. So it will get here a little bit of an yeah, futuristic, um, futu futuristic shape or something like that. Uh, yeah, you can always <laughs> go on and create more stuff like this and extrude more shapes and your building will look more complex than uh, this one. So that's uh, the basic shape of the second building. And yeah, let's go now to the geometry nodes so we can make this a little bit more complex. Yeah, let's hop into geometry nodes and create a new one. So what we need now, or what we need always, is an yeah, instance instance on points this uh, node here and let's create a cube and we need to distribute points on faces and yeah we want to um, see our basic shape so let's uh, put this here in between so we can see here uh, our building now and on top we want to put all our geometry node stuff and to do this we need a join ge geometry node here and now we can pipe this stuff together. Okay, we need the geometry of our uh, cube here. So let's put the geometry into the mesh here of the distribute points on faces. And then we want to put this here into the points. Now let's pipe our cube here into the instances. And now we can push this here into the joint geometry. And now you can see some stuff is going on and it looks a little bit futuristic i think but let's uh, make this a little bit more random so i want to go in the cube um of a little bit random size so i i will go here with 0.4 by 0.2 by 3.6 and as always you can choose the settings which you like i want to leave all the stuff here on the density on 10 that's okay for a little bit more randomness let's hit here and search here for a random value and put this one here into the scale. Now it looks a little bit more futuristic I think and the last futuristic thing which we need is an, yeah, our material and so let's set search here for a set material. We will set up the material after we build the building B. There's one material on it so let's rename this one to material building A and we can select this one and put this here already on this and yeah delete this. 
on our cube here. And let's go to the second one. So, and this one is mostly the same like our <laughs> building A, uh, except that we have to change the material. So what we can do now is go to geometry nodes and select this one here. And this starts looking good, but we have to copy this one. So let's press on the two and rename this one to B because we need to change here the material. Uh, let's make here a quick fix. So we have here material A on uh, this cube here. So uh, let's duplicate this one here as well. So press on the two and we want to rename this to B. And now we can delete this. And now we can select here our B material on our building B. So now our buildings are set up. And let's hop into shading first. Let's start here with building A. Go here down and select building A. Our first texture, which is here, the building A this is one. So let's drag and drop this one here into our shade editor. And now we want to pipe this here into the base color. And we can see something is going on, but yeah, not really. And to change this, we have to add here some texture coordinates. What we want to use now um to add here the texture coordinates we need the node wrangler plugin and to do this we have to go to preferences and search for wrangler and enable uh, this one here and what we can do now is go here and press n now we can see here's the node wrangler plugin and add a texture setup so nothing is really going on uh, with this one and what we can do now is change this one here from UV to object. That looks a little bit better. And when we are changing from this one here from flat to box, looks a little bit better. But as you can see, when we're zooming in on each cube here now is this texture. And we want to put uh, this texture on all over this building or tile this one or two times, but not on every cube. What we can do now is go back here into the geometry nodes and put in front of the set material, we need here a realize instance. Put this in between and now you can see that the whole texture is going uh, on the building. And without the realize instances, it's only a couple of shapes or couple of <laughs> cubes on this cube. And when we're using the realize instance, it's only one, one mesh. So, um, Keep in mind that you don't forget this realize instance. So let's go back here into the shading. What we can do now is change a little bit here the scale. And I like to do this to put this to 0.1. To make this a little bit cooler, <laughs> we need another principle BSDF. So let's go here and duplicate this one by pressing Shift and D. And now we want to bring uh, these two principal BSDFs together. So let's do this by searching for a mix shader. Let's put this one here down. And yeah, this one should go here in the upper one. And the new principal BSDF should go into the uh, down one. <laughs> and what we need now is another texture so let's import this one and this is the building a02 let's put this inside here and pipe this into the basic color and now you can see something is going on but we have to add here a new mapping node as well so let's select this one here and add the texture setup want to change this to object as well and now we can play a little bit with the scale. I like to go here with 0.2 by 0.2 by 0.1. And of course, we need a box. So that is looking a little bit better here, I think. We want to use here this color and pipe this here into the emission. So we're having a little bit more of a glowing here from the building, but we don't want to have the whole building glow so let's search here for a ramp 
put this in between and now we can push down the black slider uh, to this one here and now we can change this white thing here maybe to an orangey orangey color maybe just something like this and now let's increase the emission strength to maybe to 10 or something like this to make this a little bit more interesting i like to put this one here into a bump node as well so let's put this here into a high channel and this one into the normal so we have a little bit more texture here on the side and maybe let's do the same thing here for this one as well that's looking better if you want to you can leave this here uh, with a mix shader but i like to have a little bit more randomness i like to mask out here some spots where you can see maybe only more these emission stuff or more more these uh yeah wall stuff and to do this i like to use here a brick shader or brick texture and pipe this one here into the factor yeah let's play here a little bit with the settings let's leave this one and everything else but the scale can go down here with two and i think i will leave everything else but let's play instead here with the color ramp to make a little bit more contrast and now let's put this here a little bit up and this one down so i think that is looking more futuristic and now i think we can go ahead with building b let's select all the stuff here press ctrl c and let's go over to uh, this building b select our shader and press ctrl v and that's looking better the other way uh, would be to copy this shader and yeah, place it on this one here so what we have to do on building B is uh, go to the geometry nodes and add here a realize instance as well. Okay, I think that's looking okay, but I want to change here now the texture maps. So I like to use here instead of the building A, now here the building B1, that's the same. <laughs> as you noticed but i copied this uh, to make this really clear which textures i used here so b1 okay and for the second one i want to use here b2 so when this is looking a little bit different okay now we are having done <laughs> our buildings what we have to do now is place all the two buildings here into some uh, collections so i want to put this here into building a and hide this and let's do the same thing here again press m b okay i like to start here with um yeah some another stuff which will be uh, some ground de debris let's put in here a plane and i like to change this one to eight by 3.5 let's bring in here some textures so we can use here some displacement so let's put this one here material debris okay and now let's select here our principal bsdf if you have the node regular plugin enabled you can now press ctrl shift and t i want to use here this pathway 4k it's from ambient cg and it's totally free we want to use here the color displacement normal the x and we want to use here the roughness channel as well what we want to do now is add here to our plane some displacement and to do this we have to go into the edit mode of our plane make sure that you have enabled this show overlays pressing tab now we want to make a right click subdivide 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 that's enough for this plane let's leave the edit mode pressing tab and now we want to add here a dis we want to add now a subdivision surface let's increase this to six by six 
and now we want to add a displays here. What we need now is a new texture. Uh, so let's press new. Now we want to go to this tab here, texture properties and select here the displacement map, which we are already imported. So let's select this one. And now we can see that starts looking good, but we have to go back here into the modifiers and change the strength to 0.4. Yep, and that's already good looking. Let's change the rotation here now to 90. And now let's put this into a new collection, which will be here ground. That was this tutorial. And if you like my stuff, check out and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me, check out my Gumroad or Blender Market page. See you there.